Now you know guys how to create new files, how to create directories, how to rename files, how to move files and directories and how to read and edit files. Now let's proceed and uh, I want now to explain you what is the difference between soft links and hard links and explain what link actually is. But before talking about links, let me explain you what grab command does. Let me show you. Let's cd to bin folder and here let's enter ls command. And here I see bunch of different directories and executable files. Let's add the dash l option and I'll see those files and directories in table format. Let's suppose that I want to filter this output by specific keyword. And let's suppose that I want to find only directories and files that have only host name somewhere. For that you could use grab process and you could pipe std out from ls command to grab command. Let's do that. Let's clear terminal and type ls-l. Next comes pipe operator and here will be grab command and as argument we will supply filtering keyword and it will be host name. Let's press enter and now I see only results that have host name somewhere in the row. That means that using such approach, we can redirect std out data stream from this process to grab process and grab process will filter results by host name and produce via its own std out data stream only those results. And notice that matching text will be highlighted using red color. That's how you could filter results from ls command. In the same way, you could filter other results. Recap that we have created some text files in the home directory of this root user, here are those files, and let's suppose that you want to filter file file.txt and find rows that contain, let's actually first read this file, that contain for example this text. Let's copy it and let's use cut command, cut file file.txt, here will be pipe operator and here will be grab and here paste ridiculous. Press enter and now I see only lines where this text appears, here and here. That's how you could pipe output from any process to grab process and it will filter results by using specific keyword. Alright, also you are actually able to use additional options with grab process. Let me list all those options here and here you'll see a bunch of different options that you could use with grab command. And actually you could use this command and supply directly file name as argument to it. Let's try that quickly and also I'll show you how to use regular expression as a keyword. Let's clear terminal and here let's grab specific file and let's suppose that we are looking for text ab in the file 5.txt. Press enter and here I see matching parts. Here, here and here. Alright, now let me show you how you could use regular expression in order to filter results of ls command. Let's cd to slash bin folder and here let's use again ls-l command and uh, again pipe uh, std out to grab process and here let's type following. Carrot sign and l. If you use caret sign here, grab command will find only lines that start with corresponding text that you enter here. And I am looking for lines that start with L. Let's press enter and I'll see in this output only links. Actually I see only lines that start with L character and you see that L character is here in red. If I add for example additional characters here like RWX, I'll see that uh, output will be filtered only by lines that have LRWX at the beginning. We will talk about links in the next lecture, but now you need to remember that you could use also regular expressions with grab command. Let me show you also how you could uh, filter by ending uh, of a specific line. For that you could use for example CH and here will be dollar sign that stands for end of the line. Let's press enter. And now I see only results that have ch at the end. That's how you could use regular expressions with grab command. Let's now proceed and next let me explain you what is link and what is the difference between hard and soft link. I'll see you in the next lecture guys. Bye bye.